have to look like you're having fun. We're going to party. Yeah, rock on. Haven't seen much of that kid. Comes in like at 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning. Are you excited, Mom? No. <laughs> look at that. You good to go? Yeah. Is that a yes? This is my lovely family. Michael, my son, 14. Becky, my daughter, 17. And my husband, Don. Where we go? On a cruise. Oh, my God. You don't look very excited. Uh, I haven't left yet. We decided for our vacation to go on a cruise because it is Miss Becky's last March break with us because she is going. I go to university. Yeah. Our cruise went to Nassau, Nassau St. Thomas, Thomas, and St. Thomas, Puerto Rico, and Turks and Caicos. Here's Dad packing for tomorrow. If I don't have it, I'll fight. On the cruise, I brought two of my best friends, Lauren and Leanna. When did you arrive on the scene? Welcome to the Ryan family. Oh, this is early morning departure. <laughs> you can sleep in the car, Miss oh, yeah. Leanna. We had to take two different routes to get down to Miami. Being Becky invited a couple friends, we didn't want to all squish into the van. That would have really been horrible. We like, didn't want her in the van. I think I would have ended up in the trunk or on top of the roof. No, you would have ended up on the side of the road. Michael and I, we would fly, and we let Don take the girls down. Don and the girls. You plan on spending all of that? No. I want to buy Tom's a shot glass, a hat. I'll call his number uno. Bye. Bye. Oh, goodness. There they go. I like to drive. I can drive long distances. I like seeing the countryside, seeing where places are and whatever. Michael and I just sitting here relaxing. We'll be off tomorrow. Are you going to miss me? We get a three-hour flight. They have a 28-hour drive. Driving down with the girls was an interesting adventure for me. The border guard, you're going to Miami with these three girls, yes. Just you, yes. Good luck. That's all he said was good luck. Ah, oh, get the feet out of my face. Come on, none of that stuff. Ah. Who wants those feet? They're giggling and they're laughing, and I think they're scheming the whole time of what they're going to do when they got on the boat. <laughs> We're not the quietest people. What do you have to say about yourself? I wanted to buy a chip. My dad didn't get them for me. Uh, we just got into South Carolina. And here's Don driving. And here I am. <laughs> Good morning, world. Well, 18 year old girls, what do you expect? All right, getting ready to board. Early flight. I would rather be on the plane with mother. Long drives, I get kind of sick. If I was in the car with my dad and the girls, I would have gone crazy. It would have been the longest drive ever. You do what you gotta do. Yes. And we're off. Oh my, there's lots of kids. Down the stairs. Yay, we don't have to wait. Welcome to Florida. What are you doing? Becky, get your cuddle. No. The bag. No. I'm Veronica Lockyer. This is my daughter, Cassandra, and my cousin and best friend, Kimberly. For our family vacation, we had a girls' week away in Las Vegas. I haven't been on a vacation in over 20 years. I'm a single mother of four and I was really looking forward to this trip. Since my dad left, we've had more of a best friend relationship than a mother-daughter relationship. Cassie has had to fill in almost as a second mom to the rest of the kids. These are the kids back home, these rascals that we're leaving. There's Connor. <laughs> Keep her alive, <laughs> froze. Are you guys excited? Yes, we're so excited. We're going to Vegas. Why wouldn't you be excited? Guess what time we get on the shuttle? Stop eating. Stop Guess eating. <laughs> Guess what 
what time we get on the shuttle to go to the airport? What time? 4 a.m. Which means I have to be up at 3 o'clock. There you go, Cassie's first airplane ride. What's it gonna feel like when we take off? I have never been on a plane before. So we are about to take off on the airplane here, and I'm terrified out of my mind. My mom's about to take off. In terms of flying, I was most nervous about taking off, really. I was scared half to death because I thought we were going to crash. So I don't know what's going on down there, but there's a bunch of bumping noise and everything, so it's kind of freaky. The crazy part is, like, I am obsessed with heights. Like, I love heights, but just the fact that we were flying in a plane and that you would have no control over crashing or anything is the part that scared me the most. Too much anticipation. My mom wasn't helping me at all. She just sat there laughing at me and filming me. <laughs> Vegas, here we come. Flight attendants, please be seated for departure. I just wanted to get it over with. I think the scariest part of the flight was takeoff. So once we got above the clouds and we were pretty settled, it was OK. <laughs> it's like a dream come true. <laughs> oh my God. The reason why I was emotional, because that is one of my biggest dreams. Like, I absolutely love heights. So being right up there above the cloud line was absolutely amazing. Our family vacation was a Caribbean cruise, and we brought along some of our daughter's friends. We finally made it aboard. We're so excited. The girls took off already. They're on search of some cute-looking guys already. Nice view of Miami, Florida right here. Look at all those boats. So we're just seeing what there is to see. The kids are already having fun on the side. Yeah, it is a slide. Hi. This is Hi. our little cabin. This trip really wasn't about family time. It was really a trip about this little Missy. It was pretty much all about her. We're going to party, yeah, rock on. I'll be back at all hours of the night. This is where the girls will be partying. They're not old enough to drink in on the boat. <laughs> hey, Beck, where are we going? To Mr. Twister. Mr. Twister. This is Alex. Alex is our friend. Cool. How's it going? Wait, wait, yeah, you have Kenny. to stand? Shut up, there's nothing up there. Flank that out. From my perspective, all I seen oh, no, was have... Becky and Lauren and Leanna and then this harem of, of boys. It was like... Her entourage. Oh, my. We had four boys from St. Louis that we had met on the first night. No, she's zooming in. <laughs> Three guys from Texas and two guys from Toronto. They didn't have any trouble making friends. Let's put it that way. This is Nassau, the capital of the Bahamas. We got there at like 7 in the morning, so everything's closed. It was cold. So then we did a tour. It took us through like the poor part of the Bahamas, and then there was like the high class. High class is really nice. I like this pink one. Oh, this would be my home. Oh, my. I love this. Even the color? I yes. love pink. Just heading to the beach. Apparently, we can't swim because there's a bad undertow. Oh, the nicest beaches I have ever seen. Like, the sand was just, was like... Beautiful. And they warned us, don't go down on the beach. The waves can just take you. You can get killed. Martin oh, just got injured, injured by a piece of driftwood. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Hi. It's very windy. It's not going to be a very nice day. I felt a few little sprinkles. Our day at St. Thomas didn't turn out like it was supposed to be. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> smile. Oh, we had to port where a freighter would port. We were in the industrial end of town. This is terrible. This is not I don't get out there. Oh, it's actually kind of scary. You had to take a taxi to get anywhere, and these taxis are like buses. No doors, no windows. I was like, oh my no god, they can No seatbelts. St. Thomas Airport, though. Emerald Beach Resort. Oh, we're at a resort. More and say hello to the camera. Hello. Lee, hello. we're on a beach. Hey. You guys have to look like you're having fun. We're right by the uh, airport here. Leanna, have you been in the water yet? Yeah. yeah. It's kind of cold. 
you're lying on the beach and all of a sudden a big jet takes off over your head because it's right by the International Airport. I wouldn't go back there. Yeah, it's not tops of my list to go back to. Not what I thought this beautiful island was. And so much for that. Kind of dirty and a little disappointed, I gotta say. It was incredible to finally experience my first airplane ride, but once we landed in Vegas, it was time to kick our girls' vacation into high gear. I've not taken a vacation in 20 years, and since Cassandra's only 19, she's never been on one. This was my first time to Vegas, and I was so excited. The motorcycle-themed restaurant was fantastic. Been around the world a few times, though. There's Tony the Tiger bike. This one's got to be the hottest bike in here. Nice. After our lunch, the ladies were going on all the motorcycles. You got my feet on the wrong spot, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> Look at the way this one's rocking. You do, sexy girl. One of the guys came up to me and told me to get off, and we weren't allowed to touch them. You got us in trouble. <laughs> no, I got me in trouble. And it's Kimmy's fault. I'm sorry. One thing that we really wanted to do in Vegas is fire some guns. These four bottom rows are semi-automatic. Do you guys know what semi-automatic and full-automatic is? Oh, they're AK-47. I think Bangs, um, you're going to enjoy that when you tell you. Because I'm glad I'm enjoying it. The only gun I've ever fired was a pellet gun or an airsoft gun. It was a very powerful experience. I'm excited. This is going to be awesome. I know. All right, come along with me. Let's throw my childhood nightmares. Keep this pointed down range at all time. Obviously, don't turn around with it. Are you ready to do this? Any questions? Let's do it. Here you go. <laughs> that was awesome. It was very powerful. You can feel a whoosh of air from the kickback. It's just insane. <laughs> There's something very powerful about shooting Holy a handgun as big as a Dirty Harry. It's very exhilarating. Look at that. Good to go? Yep. Is that a yes? <laughs> Watching my mother fire a gun was hilarious. <laughs> it's like watching Bambi try to walk. <laughs> like, she was holding this Love it. machinery that could kill someone, and <laughs> she looks like she was going to kill herself trying to do it. <laughs> when you're shooting it, it's like your entire body is being shot like this. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> that was fantastic. So what do you think? I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> Why are you crying? So exhilarating that tears were literally, it felt like they were flying off of my face. Nice. Very oh, cool. Now you'll understand why our military uses these. They're super accurate. We decided to go on a family cruise since our daughter was heading off to university next year. We're going to party. Yeah, rock on. Things were going well, but it wasn't exactly smooth sailing. Did you like St. Thomas, Lee? I didn't like St. Thomas. Yeah, we're spoiled little brats, and we didn't like. St. I liked St. Thomas. There was like, the weather was oh, bad. Who wants cloudy weather? Nobody. No boys. No, no boys. No boys. San Juan was a lot nicer than all the other places. The sights were good in Puerto Rico. This is a much better start to the day than yesterday. Beautiful city. I think they're like Rocky. But I think it was windy that day. I remember when we went to the beach or yeah, in town, was... and oh, the security yeah. guard yes. came and grabbed us out of there because yeah, we weren't allowed on that wall. Trouble. Getting in trouble. They're kicking us out. Becky's getting in trouble. I could have stayed there all day and, and just watched the watch the waves. This vacation was sort of almost two trips in one. There was Becky's vacation and our vacation. And it's just the three of us dining again tonight. The other bunk is for Becky. My She's girl. barely there. She comes in like at 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning and haven't seen much of that kid. Becky has Miss pouty pants this morning because I told her she has to hang out with her parents. 
worst parents ever. I hate my life. I hate my life. Hi, Becky. <laughs> What are you guys going to do today, Becky? Did you like the passport? You know, it's happened better than you did yesterday. We put them in the other side. It wasn't just partying. I don't think she remembers really what all the islands look like. You can't swim. We're looking forward to our final stop in Grand Turk, and then we got some bad news. So the captain just made an announcement. It, we're making one last stop on our trip. Turks and Caicos was canceled. Needless to say, this ship is not very happy. We're not going to go to Turk tomorrow, and I'm like, yeah, really so what are we doing tomorrow? No one knows. We're, we're not going to Grand Turk. Oh, yeah, we're not going to Grand Turk. It's an outrage in this room, as you can tell. Uh, outrage. St. Louis, say hi. It's only 938. Stop trying to be cool. Captain said we'll have an extra fun day at sea. You know, a cruise ship is a big boat to start with, but to me, they get small awful quick. We're looking forward to Grand Turks for the beaches. The two previous ports didn't allow us to get to the beach because of the wind and the waves, so that was quite a disappointment. This is our first time traveling together. I have not had a holiday in 20 years, and Cassandra has never taken a holiday anywhere. While in Vegas, we went to Fremont Street, and we saw people flying over our head, and we thought, we need to do that. I wanted to do one of these rides that would test me in heights. Are you excited, Blum? No. Can you hold this? It's still recording. Yeah. Thank you. Uh -huh. Try and get mostly my mom. OK. <laughs> I was excited for it. I thought it was fantastic until the guy said, oh, oh, just wait. And then I was freaking out the whole time because I thought he forgot to do me up. <laughs> I'm just going to drop. But it was good. It was good. We all survived. It was so much fun. It only lasted like 15 seconds, but like, it was awesome. Those eyes, though. Those <laughs> eyes, though. All right, guys, come on up. Next group. Wait, no, she'll be tired. No. Oh, wait, never mind. OK, how do I turn this off? They volunteered to take the camera from us. And now we know why, because they were very interested in getting very good footage of Cassie. I don't remember a lot of it. My eyes were closed. Were they? Yeah. You guys were, like, sitting there screaming. I was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> And you were, like, screaming your heads off. <laughs> and cons of cruising is that you're pretty much on their schedule. You can't really make your own agenda, but once you get used to it, it, it worked out well. I miss everybody, but I see at the same time. Kind of people shaking up the children, tell us. Yeah, me too. It was fun while it lasted. So that's it, Donald. What's the scope? Would you cruise again? Well, I'll never say never, but probably not. We're on their schedule, as opposed to... Schedule, yeah, to, because... I like to have a little bit of freedom to do things. Yeah. And we're back in Miami. There's the girls. What time did you guys go to bed this morning? 5.30. Michael and I got an added bonus. We weren't flying out till 9 o'clock that night, so we did a little extra excursion to Miami Beach. We enjoyed our day. The beach was beautiful. As soon as I got on the Florida Turnpike, I fueled up. The girls were asleep by then. This was within five minutes because I knew they'd gotten in late. We didn't get in until 5 o'clock. I think we had a wake-up call for 6 o'clock. I don't think I fell asleep that night. They wanted to extend that vacation as much as they can. They knew it was their last day. The next time they woke up, I was on the far side of Georgia. We caught it on the way down, so we didn't need it to see it on the way back. I think we slept about 25 hours. Are you guys thought it's over? A little bit. Please? Yes. I need to take a shower. I smell really bad. Yeah, I'm unpacking, showering. Put the load on, and I want to get take a shower. Put a load on, or are you dropping a load? No, putting a load on, like a load of laundry. <laughs> a load of laundry, Jasmine! She <laughs> She's gonna... <laughs> gotta At least my her. farts don't smell like <laughs> Nobody showered for a day and a half through the drive. Donald Ryan, why did you drive all the way through? I... Because we had fun! I took a couple of breaks. Pops. I took a couple of breaks and snapped. Ugh, makes me so nervous. As soon as I opened the van, I couldn't even stay in the van. It was terrible. 
I can smell you from here. Overall, the trip was awesome. Becky, I think, enjoyed herself tremendously. It was a good one for my last one. I'm happy. You're going to miss your little brother. I'm not going to miss him. And, and that, that was our family, family vacation. vacation. My favorite part of the trip was probably the last day when I got to spend the entire day with my daughter. I wanted to go hiking in the desert and off to the side was this scooter stand. Seeing how my mom's one of the klutziest people I've ever met, her driving a scooter was a little bit nerve-wracking. The final day, the weather was absolutely wonderful. We got sunburnt within the first hour, and by the time we did end up getting to Red Rock Canyon, I realized that the sun was sinking behind the mountain, and we had a 45-minute, very slow bike ride back. Well, that friggin' hurt! Ow! I feel my butt cheek off the seat! Ow! It was a fantastic day of just relaxing and the weather was warm. It was good. I'm in the desert. <laughs> Aren't I? I guess, technically. I would say this trip brought my mom and I closer. It just gave us different experiences to have with each other because we haven't really gone traveling because she's had to stay, take care of the kids. So I think it just gave us a lot more bonding experiences that we've never done before. Overall, I think the trip was fantastic. I loved spending time away with my girls. Getting to experience Vegas firsthand, because you see it on TV all the time, but it's not the same. That was our family vacation.